I got an email today, and the subject line was, Think your job is bad? Upon opening it, there were two humorous pictures, one of a guy dressed as a polyp, and the other of a circus worker apparently collecting dung from the ass of an elephant. But when I read the subject line of the email, it took me back about two years to when I lived in Florida. Now, in any job, there are the latter, but loosely translated, executives and employees, and in most cases, the hardest workers being that of the employees, who are getting paid less than the executives. And the executives aren't doing near what the employees do. I got a job as a manager at a nursing home laundry facility. It was at this point that I discovered what a real red-blooded American worker is. Now, in a nursing home, when the resident's nature calls, most go wherever they may be, so in their clothes, their bed sheets, or shoes, if such is the case, they all come to the laundry where they are processed accordingly. At the facility I managed, there were, in all, five ladies and two men. And despite all the shit and piss that came through every day, these friends of mine came in with a smile on their face at 6 a.m. every day and worked until the job was done and all for six fifty an hour. Daphne, Desi, Mr. D, Barbara, Charlene, and Tangela, aka Sugar Mama, I miss you all. You have forever changed my perception of the real, hard-working American. And this video is for you. Now may be a time where you might want to close your eyes. Why are you changing my radio station? You can't change my radio station. We ain't ready to die yet. Shut up, Tony. We is not ready to die yet with suicide. Oh, yeah. Ha, 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 ha.